These are the solutions for the extension part of the trig unit um, of the mock exam. Uh, don't use the solution to learn about the extension. I've already provided videos to teach you about the extension. You should be watching this video. If you have watched those videos, you've done the practice problem, and you were still unable to do the extension problems, then you can watch this video. But otherwise, you're trying to take a shortcut, which probably is not going to do any good. Why don't you take that time and watch the extension videos, which actually are quite short. Okay, so the first problem is a non-calculator problem. You are going to draw a picture of a right triangle with a 30 degree angle. If I say that one of the angles is 30 degrees, that of course means that the second angle that's not 90 degrees is going to be 60 degrees because the three angles of a triangle add up to um, 180. 30, 60, 90 triangles have a characteristic in terms of proportion between their sides that uh, if you say the first side is 1, the, uh, the hypotenuse is going to be 2, and the longer leg is going to be square root of 3. Okay, so those are the proportions of the three sides. Some people might have memorized those as 1 half, 1, and square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Um, find the exact length of the other two sides using the rule of the special triangles. So they tell us that in this case, the hypotenuse happens to be 4 square root of 6. So this is basically a proportion problem, but it, uh, it means that you have to be able to simplify radicals well. Um, let's see, the, if the hypotenuse is 4 square root of 6, you can see that the shorter leg, which is this one here, is going to be half of that. So the shorter leg is going to be half of 4 square root of 6, which is 2 square root of 6. Okay, and um, the longer leg here is you can get from the shorter side by multiplying by square root of 3, right? So I could take 2 square root of 6 and multiply by square root of 3, and that will give me 2 square root of 18. Now it says to simplify this answer, and if you have, um, if you have a, a radical or a square root that has... Um, factors that are squared, then you should take those out of the radical. So in the case of 18, I have 2 times 3 times 3, right? 18 is 2 times 3 times 3, right? So I rewrote it as 2 and square root of 2 times 3 times 3. Now I'm going to make each one of these factors a separate square root. I'm just telling you an easy way to think about the simplification process. Okay. So now I have 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. Now I know that square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3, right? So now I have 2 times 3 times square root of 2, which is equal to 6 square root of 2. And that is the final answer for the longer side, okay? So the shorter side is 2 square root of 6, and the longer side is 6 square root of 2. All right, next problem in which you are going to use the calculator. It's a law of cosines problem. The formulas for law of cosines are provided right here. Okay, represent the positions of points A, S, and J in a diagram. Oh, I'm sorry. Art, John, and Sung are together at point A. John walks 120 meters due south from point A. So you start with point A, everybody at point A, and then John is going to walk 120 meters south. So he's right here. Sung faces John. Sung faces John, so he's looking that way. And then he turns 110 degrees to the left. So he turns that way 110 degrees. 110 degrees is slightly bigger than 90. That's why I drew it as an obtuse angle. And then he walks 80 meters from A and reaches point J, or a point reaches point S. Then I'm going to complete the triangle by drawing that uh, diagonal. It says R remains at point A. Okay, so you have A, S, and J. Represent the points A, S, and J in the diagram labeled with all the information above. Yeah, we just did that. Find how far Sung is from John to one decimal place. Okay, so basically we want to know the length of this side within one decimal place. And um, if you have uh, two sides and the included angle, 
then you know that that is a law of cosines problem. So a law of cosines problem you will solve with either this equation or this equation. Which equation should we use? Either equation works, but the reason why two equations are presented here is because one of them is easier to calculate sides, and the other one is easier to calculate angles. And in this case, we have an unknown side, right? So we have an unknown side here, and if we want to find an unknown side, it's easier if we use this version because the side is on the left. If we want to find an unknown angle, we'll use this one because the angle is on the left. So I'm going to rewrite the equation here. It's uh, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine capital C. Capital C is um, the name uh, of the angle that the equation gives it. I'm going to relabel all the uh, um, sides and angles with the names given in the equation. So big C is actually that angle. Uh, small c is here. Uh, small a and small b are actually the other side. So this we could say is a, and this we could say is b. Now I'm just going to substitute in the numbers. So c squared equals a squared, 120 squared, b squared, 80 squared, minus 2ab, so 2 times 120 times 80, cosine of c. So cosine of, oops, I forgot to label one thing. This should be 110 degrees. So uh, here I'm going to put cosine of 110 degrees. <coughs> okay, now I just need to put this in my calculator. If you have a TI-84 or another calculator which does radians, you need to be, be sure that you put your calculator into radians mode, or into degrees mode, because we're, our, degree, our angle here is in degrees. So I did. And now I'm going to type in the uh, calculation here, 120 squared plus 80 squared. Oops. 80 squared minus 2 times 120 times 80 times cosine of 110. And I get that huge number. And it turns out, let's see, c squared equals this huge number, 27367. And then I'm going to take the square root of this. Okay, and then I get 165. c is equal to 165.4. Okay, so that is the answer for this part. And then it asks us, how far north Sung is from R to one decimal place? And you might think, well, Sung is not north of R. Sung is northeast of R. Well, so what they're asking you actually is they want you to draw some triangle, that, a right triangle here that shows the distance from Art to Song, and we know that the distance is 80, but what they want to know is the north part of it, okay? So like they say, how far north is he? So basically what they want to know this distance here, okay? So this is actually just a simple sine cosine tangent problem because this is a right triangle. So we know uh, this angle actually. It may, look, it may look like we don't know it, but we do know that this angle is 110 degrees. So that means that this angle here is 70, right? So we know that the cosine of 70 is equal to uh, x divided by 80. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 80, and we get 80 cosine of 70. I'm going to go to my calculator. Type that in, and I get 27.4. So the distance here is 27.4 meters. Okay, and this one was like I said meters. And that's it. Actually, this was just a right triangle problem, wasn't it?